Today, we're in the United Arab Emirates, and I've prepared a colossal challenge for my friends. Never gonna give you up. The grand prize will go to whoever gets to the highest point above sea level in the next 24 hours. What location they pick and how high they will get is really completely up to them. Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Haven't seen you guys in ages, but we're back today with a new video. Good to see you again, guys. As usual, you're completely unaware of what's to come because whenever I invite someone to shoot a video, they have no idea what's going to happen. I already said goodbye to all my friends. Hey, пацаны, это называется просто What the fuck did I sign up for? So, as you can see, there's three of us who will be competing today. The box behind me, I'll tell you guys right now, that is the prize. Okay guys, let's guess what's inside that box. Yeah, go ahead, show us. No, 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 I won't show you. I just want you to take a guess. Just tell us how much it is. All right, fine. I'll say hot or cold. Well, last time it was a million. Okay, and now? Well, let's say two mil. Ahmed is closer. Three. Now you're a bit further away. 2.5. Exactly. Okay, so you're ready to find out what we're gonna do today. All right, guys, listen closely. Whoever reaches the highest point above sea level in the next 24 hours will win the grand prize. Of course, you can't just get on a plane and fly to the highest altitude. No, you have to stand on solid ground. What comes to mind? Where would you go? Well, I know the Burj Khalifa is here, but I know there's a mountain that's taller than that. Wait, why are you only thinking within the borders of the UAE? Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot to mention, we're not just limited to Dubai. Today, the entire planet is our playing field. In order to achieve our goal, we can use any means necessary. That's the help of our friends or acquaintances, or we can use any type of transportation, no problem, as long as it's not a helicopter or a cable car. And of course, each participant has a limited amount of money at his disposal, namely 200,000 rubles. I am 100% sure that this will not be an easy journey for any of us today. So it's time to go down to the comments and support the person you will be rooting for today. What do we need to do? We need to drive back to my hotel, grab my stuff, because I have like no warm clothes if I'm flying to another country. And we need to plan this out too. Hey boys, can you give me a lift to the entrance? Please? Aye, anyway, there's no need to rush anywhere. This is where we gotta think. Albers is pretty tall, right? What is higher than Albers? Everest? I know it's the highest mountain in the world, but how do we get there? We'll figure this out. We'll get the car going, uh, get the AC going, this and that. It's pretty hot out here. Bro, I'm so pumped! I haven't filmed in ages. I'm just so happy to get back to it and start making some awesome content again. I just can't lose today's challenge. Ahmed already knows what it's like to win. I've just got a couple more cans than you. I've got 397 cans total. Congrats, bro. Ilya has also won on this channel before. Remember the blinking challenge. And the winner is... Not Slava and not Adele. No way, no way! Bro, we've all had a taste of victory on this channel. There are over 150 mountains on this planet with a height of 7,000 meters and more. But which ones will we pick? Ahmed, Ilya, and I all have to think very fast because the clock is already ticking. Dagestan is 100% unknown because there isn't like, well, anything, uh, well, insanely huge. Okay, it's fine, now. let's not overthink. We're going to Elbrus. I'm sure that right now, everyone is thinking of climbing like a super big mountain. I'm thinking that Ahmed is like planning to climb the moon. Everyone has seen Elbrus. You guys want to see Kilimanjaro? Let's fucking go then. So we found a guy that understands something about mountains. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, hi there, my name is Ria, and basically I have this challenge I need to do. What location can a beginner climb without any training? Elbrus? Yeah, Elbrus. 
Kilimanjaro, uh, even if you have oxygen tanks, it's a completely different budget. Yes, I understand you, but see, our limits are that, well, we can't use a cable car or a helicopter, basically. Okay, you can get there by snowmobile to a height of uh, 3,800 and basically keep going till 5,000 up Elbrus. I think it's the best option. Honestly, I'm a bit worried. I tried to climb Elbrus once. I ended up throwing up even though I had time to prepare. I remember having such a terrible headache. I'd never ever had such a bad headache in my life. I don't know where I'm going yet, but I'm packing three pairs of underwear, one extra pair of socks, and my Stone Island jacket. I guess if I'll need warmer stuff, I'll have to get it there. Is food included in the budget? Most importantly, we need to get the strongest headache pills. I know what it's like up there, man. Bro, I know this pain, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I should warn the guys about it as well, so their heads don't explode. Damn, are we allowed to bring our lit energy drinks in the carry-on? Ah, oh, it's not gonna work. Damn it, bro. Okay, so we gotta fly to Mineralne Vody. A friend from Mahachkala will meet us on my Priora. And from there, together, with the help of winter tires, we will drive towards Elbrus. It'll be like 100, maybe 120 kilometers. It'll take an hour tops. If I'm driving, maybe 30 minutes tops. There are two tickets left. One is business, the other economy. Business costs 251k rubles. We'll get business for you. But my budget is 200, and economy costs 90k. So I'll get that one. Sounds good to you? Ah, oh, fuck, man. We still can't decide where we're going. It's been two and a half hours, and we're still looking at options. Right now, this time of year, it's not a good time to climb Everest. So we're focusing on the other option, Kilimanjaro, Africa. So I'm checking this article now. They say from December till March is a good time to go. I think it'll be much better for us to go to Africa instead then, because the season works and the altitude of 5,895 meters is even higher than Elbrus, which is the tallest mountain in Russia. So I think we have a good chance, yeah? Okay, looks like we've made our decision. I'm going to Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro to be precise. Fuck, I'm not tripping, am I? I saw tickets from Doha and from Doha to Kilimanjaro. I think someone bought those tickets. Someone from our group might be heading up to Kilimanjaro. Basically, we looked through like a bunch of options. There are like tickets to Minerali Vodi for like 600,000 for two. Oh fuck, oh fuck it, all or nothing, right? Oh, fuck that guy then. I wanted to go to Africa. I want to see some giraffes, some goddamn gorillas and hippos, and penguins from Madagascar. Ah, uh, but instead, ah, uh, those bitches. Uh, at least it's a direct flight, no layovers. Oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe it. Both Ahmed and Exile are going to the same location? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. What flavor is the best? All of them, bro. These ones are sugar free. Of course, you, the brand owner. He's going to recommend all the flavors. Hasbik, do you know the tallest mountain in the world? <clears throat> Everest. It's where we're going now. Oh, really? Guess who we're competing with? With Ahmed. Ahmed? Yeah. I think you'll win. Thanks, bro. We'll try our best. But where do you think Ahmed's gonna go? Maybe Dagestan? I think both of you are gonna go to the same mountain. Same place, you think? Oh, actually, you might be right, though. If the boys are flying to another country, they won't be able to buy a lit energy. However, I just ordered a can in Mahachkala, so hopefully we'll be greeted with the drink. I wonder if anyone left yet. Hey, where are you? I'm on the moon. Everyone's here. Lunte, Gagarin. Ah, so you're still here, and I'm on the plane right now. How about that? See, the key is strategy and planning, not speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that work out for you last time? I've done lots of these videos, and the key is it's planning and strategy. Congrats, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck me, right? Now, my thanks and congratulations to all those involved in Majestic Roleplay, because they have recently switched to a new launcher. 
Technology keeps advancing and we need to keep up with the rapid pace of development. For all of those who are new, Majestic Roleplay is the most ambitious project in GTA 5 roleplaying to date, hosting as many as 20,000 players on nine different servers daily, and now they have their own launcher. I think that the growing interest for this project speaks for itself, and this is just the beginning. By the way, if you're having trouble purchasing GTA 5, you can go to the Majestic Roleplay website and get your license key there. Want to try it? Awesome. Use my promo code LITVIN and get a $50,000 bonus and 7 days of Platinum VIP status. Enjoy my friends. My name is uh, Ilya and uh, Vitaly gave me your contact said you can help me get up somehow on Elbrus. What's like the highest climb a newbie can make? We can get up to about 5k right now. Yeah, that's excellent. That's like what I need. It's like we found the perfect guy. <laughs> I just need a prepayment right now, just to be safe. I'll get everything ready. I'll get the car and call the driver. Yeah, of course. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right, awesome. Hey, go, 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 go. 11 Ford, Mineralny Voda. Brother, let me tell you. While we were driving here, I got a snowmobiles. We're about to register and turn on turbo mode, <laughs> as one of my buddies said once. We are going to go full turbo mode. Yo, Ahmed, can I get an autograph? <laughs> where are you going? You flying to Mineralne Vody? No. So where are you going? What about you? Mineralne Vody? Seriously? Guys, we got competition. <laughs> uh, you got everything prepared? Yeah. Everything. Everything, everything, everything's ready. We're just going to the hotel, rest, and then go start the climb. Ah, okay, sick. Glad you're here. What? Nothing, good luck. Get some good sleep. Ahmed and Ilya are both flying to the same destination. Mineral Nivordi. On top of this, both of them have arranged transport on arrival. Tensions are running high. This, unfortunately, I have to finish. And throw away. Because they will grill us at security and they won't even let us take it on the flight anyway. Well, my friends, we are flying to Kilimanjaro. Victory will be ours. We're about to start the race for Elbrus. It's gonna be decided by mere meters. If halfway through the video, you made your bet on who's gonna be the winner, well, here comes the most intriguing part. So here we are. Welcome to the scorching African heat. Ladies and gentlemen! Hey bro, nice to meet you. My name's Misha. Today's my first day mountain climbing. So full throttle. We don't have anything, just uh, flip flops and what I'm wearing now. It's okay? No problem. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata, bro, sick. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We're in mid body. I've never been here before. You see him, right? Oh, I see him, all right. Damn, unlucky. They actually made it on the first bus. It won't help the window. Boys, can you spare me an energy nah, drink? Nah, 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 Okay, let's split the energy drink right now. I'll give you two? No, three even. But if you win, you won't share. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Wise guy. We'll find one. 20%, 20%. We'll find one, we'll find one. 
Run. Guys, get us an energy drink, please. Boys, give us a drink, I'm begging you. Please. <laughs> Bro, thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. You owe me one. Yeah, of course I'll owe you one. Boys, thank you. Best of luck. Fuck, I almost just died there right now. What a night. Shift to first, fall on the gas, buckle up. I'm being told we have little time. Okay, we just have to absolutely send it and we'll get there as soon as possible. So how much time will it take to get there? Driving three hours. Three hours? Well guys, I think we're doing pretty good today. We didn't lose too much time on the road, except for the overnight flight. That wasn't ideal. I feel like we could be halfway up the mountain by now, if it wasn't for that. On the other hand, bro, we're in Africa, Tanzania to be exact. We're doing our best and moving as fast as possible, even if it's just in this old van. Because, unfortunately, there's no budget for a Bugatti or a Maybach. So, right now, we're heading to Kilimanjaro. I'm super excited to be here and see all of this beauty with my own eyes. We're gonna win, bro. It's like they say, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> so, we arrived at the nearest village. We just need to make a quick pit stop, get a little bit of sleep. Shall we check out our rooms? Oh, look, two beds. Now, let's go to sleep. No way to get up there on the Piora, so we just gotta park it here. If they get higher than 5100, I'll drive you up there myself. Who, me? That's already great news. I won't faint, right? That's a hard question. You just came back from Dubai. There's a high chance you'll feel sick up there. 5100? That's frostbite territory. Well, hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully. So, this is not how people usually climb up the mountain. We, what we're doing now, this is pretty much illegal, but I managed to find these guys. They agreed to drive us up the hill. So, if you look around, you'll see that we're the only ones that are driving up. Usually people have to walk. Yes, it's a bit sneaky, I agree. I wonder how my mates are going. I wonder if they're somewhere cold. Right now, we're in the climbing equipment store, but we got bad news this morning. Right now, we're up 2.5K, and we gotta climb up another kilometer. We're told that climbing up a kilometer in three hours without any climatization is really hard. I would be shocked if the guys got up there on a snowcat because all of the mountain patrol guys told me that even if they tried it, they'd be into deep shit. I don't know where we are. They're telling us to change. I was just about to fall asleep. I was about to have the sweetest sleep of my life. But of course, that's when they asked me to get up and exit the vehicle. Coochie down to the socks like I'm Biggie Papa. Girl hit in my tummy boxes. But when it doubt, she is like it, when it doubt, she don't get nothing. Not using cable cars. It's impossible to get up to the top, right? There weren't two guys before us, correct? No, it's either someone who hiked or us, because the cable cars only open at 8.30. Will you give rides to others? No deals were made just about now, just so you know. Hey bro, by the way, how much money do you need to refuse other guests? <laughs> really? This is where we start? Yes. Do you have shoes? Can you take mine, maybe? And you? Well, no problem, I will take you out. No, no, no. No, just it's okay. try it. No, it'll be so uncomfortable no, for no, you. No, 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 okay. be okay. Thank you so much. Get it better. Jesus, he's really just gonna wear my flip-flops. What a hero, man. Man, just squeeze all of the tube out. <laughs> More, <laughs> enough. Oh, come on, what is this? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, seven hours to ascend. Seven hours of walking on foot. Well, we're gonna start at 3,407 meters, and I'm planning to definitely reach 4,000. For sure, I think more like 5,000 even, if I keep my pace up. All right, let's go. Ahmed and Ilya, I'm sorry, but just give up. You have no chance. Mate, what the fuck? Look at this guy, he passed out, and they have to carry him all the way back down. Most importantly, we have to get the strongest headache pills they have. I know what it's like up there, man. Bro, I know this pain. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. They 
this truck right here costs 110 million and it got us here. Our probability for winning is about 99%. What's your language, young man? If we got here just a bit later, they wouldn't have gotten us up, right? 7 a.m., the rat tracks already need to be at the bottom. My head can't explode from the pressure, right? You'll feel a horrible headache. You won't get a brain hemorrhage, but you won't be able to walk. It'll be really hard to breathe and your legs will be sore. If I start to feel bad, we should return straight away, right? We usually take the tourists down off the mountain. What if I'm nauseous, dizzy, vomiting? Is it dangerous to continue? Of course. You can pass out and die. As we begin to ascend, we can really see who's capable of what. It's just like a small town here. Honestly, I'd love to just stay here and get some sleep. Sit down on this rock, have some nice food, maybe some pasta and meatballs. Mmm. Yeah, man. So this is our altitude right now. 3,610 meters. Even that's quite impressive. Oh man, next camp is two and a half hours away. Look, there's a bus over there. Can we get that bus? Is it possible? Yeah, let us see. In three kilometers, we can get a car, yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow, man. That's very good news. Of course, it's frustrating that Ahmed got a ride on a snow cat. But what are we supposed to do? The prize is too good. So we're just going to gather all our willpower and make it to the next rest station. We'll hop on a snowmobile and uh, get up to 5.1k. While Ilya is climbing to get to the snowmobile, Ahmed is kicking into high gear. To be honest, I don't feel that well. I feel pain around my temples. It's irritating. I'm out of breath. It's as if I just ran a lot, even though I was just sitting. Bro, do you hear the silence? That's insane, just listen. Ah! Bro, I feel more sick after yelling. <laughs> All right, so let's continue the ride? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Never back down, never give up. I can see it. Huh. The car? Yes, I can see it, it's right there. Bro, why didn't you tell me we could drive from up here? But uh, from there to go up was not good because of acclimatization. As you decide, we can go with the car and then we'll finish to Shira too. Okay. okay. Strong man. Team Simba yeah. with the strong man. Yeah. We are completely killing it right now. Yes, boss. We are kicking ass. Yes, boss. Ilya and Ahmed are done. <laughs> you know, right now I'm all energetic and motivated, but look where we got to go. You see where the ski lift is? That's fucked up. Before, it wasn't even a, that steep, but look up there. As you might have noticed, we started off in just t-shirts and shorts in scorching African heat. But four hours later, I've had to put on some extra layers like a raincoat and a hoodie to warm up. Oh good, I'm just super tired and my head hurts. My head is really killing me and I'm not feeling well at all. But man, if Ahmed or Ilya make it higher than me, I'll be so pissed off. Uh, so I'm going for the win. Uh, so I'll continue up on foot. I don't know, bro. I wouldn't recommend it. Why? Because up there, it's all ice. You're not prepared. You don't have a nice pick nor right equipment. Allah won't save you if you fall down an ice ravine. Even a helicopter won't get me out? Only if they want to recover your body for the funeral. That's a 100% guaranteed death. You seem so close, right? It's only a couple of steps. But these steps make your heart rate go crazy. And loss of breath. A first time experience for me.
I don't know about the other guys, how they're doing, but me personally, ugh, I feel terrible. My head's killing me, I'm so tired. And the only reason why I'm still walking up this mountain is the sense of competition and my own ego. We've reached another camp. Looks good. Oh, I'm telling you, man. I would love to just stop here. I'm really struggling right now. It's starting to feel impossible. Oh, Jesus, feels like my eyes are popping out of my head. Okay, we passed the second camp. Mate, we only have 38 minutes left. Guys, I have some bad news. After three years of fantastic work, the Suckerland Football Club is suspending its operations. I want to tell you, there's no reason to despair and want to emphasize, this is not an end, it's just a pause. Bro, a pause is not a reason to be sad. It's a chance to reflect and then come back stronger. And we will definitely come back stronger. I would like to express my deep gratitude to everyone who has involved and supported us over the years. Thank you guys for your support. And at the same time, I'm sorry we are putting things on ice for a while. For me, I would like to thank our main partner who was with us during the season and provided us with some unreal support. Link in the clip, and as always, with some bonuses from the league. If we were to play it safe and abide by the rules of mountain climbing to do things the right way, we would have to stay at the base camp for a while in order to get acclimated to the new altitudes. But clearly today, we're breaking all of those rules and doing everything we can to reach our goal and get to see the grand prize. And your thumbs up, of course. You know, only one person told me, well, guys, depending on your health, you might make it. But he was the guy that was renting out equipment. And three ski patrol guys said, no fucking chance. So who should I believe, the rental guy or ski patrol? I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio and Revenant. Guys, I can't. I, the oxygen up here is just so thin that I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Damn, look at that scary bird. Beak is just like my nose. <laughs> Bro, we only have 38 minutes left. Yeah, we're gonna finish. Words cannot describe what I'm experiencing right now. But I wanna go higher. No, no, bro. We won't let you do that. You're already having difficulty even at this height. You're short of breath. You're feeling altitude sickness. Only Allah can tell what will happen next. You might start feeling worse than you are right now. On good consciousness, we're not letting go further. Oh, bro, every move, every step just feels like a sledgehammer in my head. Like if I put my head down, it gets smashed by a hammer. Honestly guys, I don't have any strength anymore. But we really have to speed up in these last 30 minutes. Because these 30 minutes might be what clinches it in the end. Remember bro, you only take out what you put in. Bro, man, I'm coming. Oh, I can see the finish rock. Yeah! Oh, I can't believe it. Feels like my head's exploding. Guys, I'm just really stoked right now. Yes, winning is important, but it's not as important as this wholesome vibe that I got to experience by coming here. It's a lot more important, man. We're on Elbrus, and the height is... Okay, let's check what the height is. Ladies and gentlemen, Mikhail Litvin is here on Mount Kilimanjaro, an active volcano, and my altitude is... Okay, the results are in, and it's time to announce the winner. I'm sure it will be me. I'm certain I won. I'm certain I won. Beautiful morning, get a sun in my morning bed. Am I the first to arrive? Oh fuck, I'm so worried really. Not because of the prize, because we really tried our best here. It was really intense. But we also had fun too. 
Guys, it took us what, like three days to get back here? <laughs> it took us three days to return to Dubai. Now, let's see the results. Let's see who won. Man, I'm so nervous right now. I'm losing it. Imagine if I get third place, man. It's gonna suck. Okay, let's start from the bottom. I'm ready. And the third place goes to... My husband. <laughs> Bro, how bad are you at this? In 24 hours, I reached the altitude of 4,076 meters. And I hate losing, Charlie. I hate it. I hate losing more than I even want to win. And there's a difference. Man, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am. The defining moment, because when I say who's second, you'll see who's first. With the difference of 70 meters, Ilya got the second place. 4,520 meters. That's our height. It's fine, bro. We already knew. How? Ahmed and I, we flew to the same spot. With Ahmed? Complete coincidence. We met Ahmed in the airport and we're both stunned. And then we flew to Albus. So what happened was I was making an arrangement with a guy, but we had a slight misunderstanding. They promised us to get us up from zero to 5.1K. Yeah, if I can do that through you, that would be fantastic. Yeah, that's possible. We'll do it, we'll do it. Then he calls us and says, don't tell your guys anything. Just take the ski lift and there I'll take you up to 5.1K. The dude promised us from the beginning that he'll take us from the bottom all the way up on a snowmobile. Then in the morning he calls us and says, oh, go take the ski lift. And because I'm an honest person and I don't want to break the challenge rules and be cheater, I'm going to come out and tell the truth. My honest result was 2200. And after that, we just took the ski lift and then the snowbills got us up 4,600 meters. Big thank you to Ahmed, first of all, for sharing a can. And second of all, he also helped us resolve a conflict. Well, that means someone somehow got something wrong. No, it's you who got something wrong. So you can understand, we were supposed to pay 170k to go up, but before that a prepayment of 85k, and he didn't want to give us the money back. How much did you pay? 85,000. 85 grand. How much of the 85 grand are you willing to give back for not fulfilling your duty? 50k. 50, 50k. Grand. 50 grand. Bro, you're in the wrong. I'm 50 in the grand. Wrong. I'm in the wrong. You're literally taking 30k and for so doing what? nothing. 50 grand yeah, deal. Fine, deal. Fine, whatever. Deal? Let's make it a deal. Deal? Yes, we have a deal. We have a deal. Okay. So actually, I deserve third place. Congrats, bro. Prize is yours. We're on Elbrus and the height is 4,590 meters. So the real picture looks a bit like this. Ilya Exile takes third place. Sadly, I come in second. And the first place goes to Ahmed. And now it's time to finally reveal the prize. Well, congrats Ahmed, the prize is yours. Well, of course I'd rather keep it, but... Bro, look at this Ducati here. It's extremely fast. It's got a 1.3 engine. You get it, right? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, 1.3 liters. You get it, right? It looks so clean, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, bro. Sick, sick. You happy? Sick, so sick. Yeah, it's so fire. Yeah, it actually looks so good. What an absolute beast. Bro, it's so, so beautiful. Looking at it from the side, I love it so, so much. We all experience a wider range of emotions, and I really hope you guys could feel it too. We congratulate Ahmed, he won again. What else to say? Ahmed is leading 2-0, but I'm sure I'll take revenge on him soon. We come back stronger, am I right? 100%.